Thank you. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I know, I was noticing that. <laughs> Roll call, please. Trustee Trombley. Yeah. Trustee McPetrick. Here. Trustee Trombley. Here. Trustee Garrett is excused. Mayor Martin. Here. I need a motion to approve since we uh, we can approve the October 16th board meeting. So moved. Have a second. Second. Any additions, deletions, discussion on this? I didn't see any changes. You left the table recently, September 18th. Is Amy's not he said October. Right. No, no, I'm October. 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 Yeah. If there's no discussion or questions, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Need a motion to approve the board minutes of September 18th that was tabled last month. Um, Amy's not here. Amy's not here, so I'll carry that over to December. Mm -hmm. Presentation of petitions, communications, notices, general question period for members of the community. As we have no one here, we will go to Mr. Tatro, Code Enforcement. Well, it's been a real quiet month. We'll have a whole lot to report on. A couple issues with fires and people burning garbage. I took care of that. Um, then correspondence with Tom over the peacock issue. That's still pending. Other than that, there's really nothing to report on. We're it's in that transition time of year, we're getting ready for winter. Did we get a response from the guy on Oak Street? Did he call? Or did no, I haven't called. Set up a meeting or whatever? No, I'm supposed to set up a trade too. No, I didn't do that, but I will. Okay. Yeah. So we can hear his side of this story. Yeah. Hmm. That's about it. I mean, it was relatively quiet. Went to Potsdam, got educated. That was Thank the village for that. That was a good conference. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. Yeah. I know the class I was in, I thought was, it, it kept my interest for a whole day, so right. that's saying a lot. That's saying something. <laughs> <laughs> we won't comment on that one. We'll just let that one slide. Okay. Any more from Mike? Um, yeah. You, any response from uh, Mr. Dragoon on his property? I see, of course. I sent him a letter and he has not contacted me or anything, but I haven't. Seen anything there? No one's. A couple of vehicles there Saturday parked in the parking lot. So I don't know what they were doing. Yeah. Saturday. It's always on Saturdays. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he's been next warned to me. What's that? He's been warned to me if he does something in there, then we'll go yeah. the next step. But I would assume that I mean, it's twice now I've sent him a letter and tell him. So. Yeah. Well. Maybe you can try to. Catch him on Saturday. We'd have to catch him doing something there. Well, yeah, I mean, catch him as not talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. We'll have some good and we'll have some bad here, so. Good evening and welcome to your November Village Board meeting. November brings with it cooler weather, Veterans Day. Thank you to all those who have served and who are now serving in the Armed Forces. Thanksgiving will soon be here. Christmas is not too far away. And if you really want to get excited about this, there are 48 days before we celebrate the new year and welcome 2018. Time waits for no one. Wow. A little good news before we get to the downside of the water project, which seemingly has gone on forever. The new water softening plant will soon go online as soon as we get a few quirks, as always happens with new systems, get these worked out of the system. When the plant is fully operational, it will take some time for the filtered water to reach your homes, but it will soon be available for all users. The water towers are being filled cautiously, as this disturbs the pressures on the system and we have had to repair two, now three, main water breaks probably wasn't all caused by this, but nonetheless we repaired them. Last week and today, 
The village's water lines are old by most standards and are subject to malfunctioning when too much strain is placed on the system. We can and will work through this situation to the best of our ability. Conversations continue with the powers that be to get the water project completed. The bonding company that is supposed to take care of finishing the restoration and other necessary commitments in the absence of a competent contractor is taking time and legal efforts so it looks like it will be spring before we see final efforts taking place. There are many sites in both the town and the village that need attention, serious attention, before final completion is a thing of the past. A word of caution is needed here. We realize that many of our patient and understanding residents are tired of looking at their disturbed properties and want to take action on their own to see improvements before winter. There is no guarantee, repeat that, there is no guarantee that any repairs undertaken at this point will be paid back to the property owners. The amount to finish the project is still under negotiation and it may be a very long time before funds are available, if at all, to pay for restoration at this point without prior approval to do so. This is a very painful, this is very painful to relate to those who seemingly have had enough waiting for attention and the village and town are working very hard to remedy this, but we will not settle just to get this over with. Funds must be made available to complete this unfortunate situation to the financial situation of all involved. Again, your continued patience and understanding are greatly appreciated in this matter. A couple of reminders for our residents. Number one, no overnight parking on Village Streets begins November 15th as we will soon be plowing snow and cars parked on the street make it difficult to maintain safe passageway for our snowplow and other vehicles. Vehicles will be towed at the owner's expense if we find that clearing streets is difficult because of illegally parked cars and trucks. Number two, it is now illegal for any burning in the village. The period for having controlled campfires ended on October 31st. Any fires, be it wood, garbage, brush, leaves, etc will result in a call to the fire department and law enforcement to deal with these situations. We are pleased to announce that our annual tree lighting with a visit from Santa, bless you, will take place this year on December 9th at Paquette Park. All are welcomed at this celebration, which is always fun for all. Check the village official webpage for announcements regarding times and events here in the village. Thank you for the pleasure of your time and caring about this village. Trustee Trombley. Okay. Um, I really only have one thing. Um, I know you've talked about the water project and I feel very bad for all the people that this has not come to a um, a good conclusion so far and hopefully it's not going to drag on much longer than spring everybody wants to see this done and over with but I understand people's frustrations and their patience is running thin <coughs> um, Sunday December 3rd the uh, Catholic Daughters of America's Court Lily of the Mohawk in conjunction with the Champlain Knights of Columbus will hold the um, Senior Citizens Christmas Dinner at the Knights of Columbus uh, Champlain Catholic Men's Club um, Hall on Oak Street. It will be Sunday, December 3rd. Reservations are needed. This is for residents of the town of Champlain. So the town of Champlain, the village of Champlain, the village of Rouse's Point, I believe it's what senior citizens age, 65, 60, thereabouts. Call Gloria Tatro at 298-8789. Reservations are needed for this so that they can have a good head count 
when uh, we get ready to start cooking. Um, this is a joint venture between the two organizations um, and the hall is always filled so and we may have a visit from Santa I'm not sure so um, what was the time again? Dinner I believe is at 4 okay. um, but we'll get some more information out on that we'll let the girls know in case somebody calls here but um, usually does at 4 o'clock yeah so um, it's always a good time and it's always an excellent meal. So um, that's all that I have. Okay, thank you. Trustee McFedrich. The trunk or treat was hugely successful. We probably had over 100 kids and more wow. than 30 cars participate. Wow. Uh, the playground was packed. Uh, everyone had a great time. They're looking forward to next year. Um, That's a huge turnout. It was, Story it was planning. amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it was really, really incredible to see so many people downtown. Are there photos on Facebook or anything? Yeah, or yeah, look? yeah, yeah. Look at them. They're really, really uh, great. The kids were adorable. Um, Story Hour is, monthly Story Hour continues on the first Friday of every month at 6.30 at the Meeting House. Um, adding to the mayor's comments about the uh, Christmas tree lighting. Um, the kids' activities will be on the same day, December 9th, from 1 to 3, and the candy cane hunt will be at 3 p.m. on at the playground. We'll also do our wreath decorating contest again, so you can pick up registration forms here, and um, as soon as I know what the theme is, I will announce it. Um, we may also be doing a community Santa mailbox. So kids can uh, write letters to Santa and um, they will get a response. Um, in other things, um, I did um, file a grant request for a case for the old pharmacy to be selected as a case study um, for uh, renovation that ties into our revitalization study. And I think that's it. And a theme? Did you say you're going to No, I don't, I, don't, I don't have a theme. I tried to get a group of people today to give me a theme, and they couldn't come to a decision. So, if you have any ideas, let me know. <laughs> you have time for the, the, the December meeting will be too late. Yeah, but I'll get the word out. Okay. Very good. Anything else? That's it. That's it? Yeah. Trustee Trombley? Okay. Uh, as you know, we we met with um, AES Engineering to review the uh, drawings. And everybody got a copy in their mailbox. So it's set here. Um, I see it. We have it down in old business. We need to uh, That's fine. need to talk about the start. The next step of the process is uh, the survey for asbestos. And we want to add some additional survey. We'll talk about that later as well. Um, the dump, our, our, what is our technical term for our area that we get rid Clean of? The debris is clearing debris from basically brush. Uh, debri brush debris, yard salvage debris. yard across from school. I went there today to get rid of my leaves and uh, you know, I was disappointed to find bags of leaves left there. So it's a reminder to everybody, you have to dump your bags out and take your bags home and put them in the garbage. So while I was there, I dumped whoever, whoever left them there, I took care of it. They're empty. Thank so, you. So it's a reminder. Um, and of course, only, I didn't see anything else there besides pumpkins and leaves and brush, so I think. Some sloth in our break. <laughs> um, the other thing I've got is um, December 9th. At the Episcopal Church next to my house, they are going to be having an ordina ordination uh, for Reverend Patty Baharnas. Mm -hmm. So she spoke with, with Kim and I recently, and I wanted to bring it up here because there'll there'll be a lot of parking. So again, we want to disregard. There's a no parking sign on one side of the road. As long as they leave a pathway and they park on both sides, we should be okay. If for some reason, Mike. We've got a lot of snow. We need to try to make a little space for them because they're going to be a full house. As it gets closer, there's no 
call me or remind me because okay. it's not something that always comes up and I won't remember. They're going to try to do like valet parking to like drop people at the door and then park up in the old the old Meta. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. they, they got permission from, from the owner to, to okay. utilize that for parking as well. So they're going to try to keep the street parking within reason, but mm -hmm. it's obviously going to be congested. It'll be a busy day in the village. Yeah. Do you know what time that is at? But I remember she said what time it was at. I don't think she told us the time. No. No, I don't think she did. No. Okay. Um, oh, and then I have an announcement with our uh, annual caroling hayride. Oh, good. I was going to ask you the, that. That the Knights of Columbus uh, puts on at the Champlain Catholic Men's Club. It will be December 23rd at 5 p.m. And I've already got word that Santa is planning on attending. Great. Five. Five. That's yeah. such a wonderful activity. That's such a, so much fun last year. I know. I'm so thankful that the guys, that Eric and uh, and Dale still do this. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, so pleased because it's it's a huge turnout every year. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's a really, really a good time. But they always tell me they have fun as well. So. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they do. Yeah. So that's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. report from the clerk treasurer, please. Um, everyone has their expense revenue reports for October. Mm -hmm. yeah. Except we're doing okay there. Motion to approve the work. Um, we have to make a transfer. We have to do a transfer from reserves A889 to A5410.4 sidewalks um, in the amount of 23000 Motion so, to approve. So moved. Second. Second. Is there any discussion here? This is so we can pay our sidewalk, maintain the reserve. Have a roll call, please. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee McFetridge. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Mayor Martin. Aye. Okay. Now we'll entertain a motion to approve the warrant. Um, with additional, we have additional invoices to add to the warrant, which brings it to a total of 61,103.32. I move to approve the warrant with the additional uh, invoices to be added. For that amount of sixty-one thousand one hundred three thirty-two. Second. 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 Mike, is this this twenty-seven? Is that Tom's bucket? Yeah. For the bucket truck? Yeah. Okay, that little valve costs about five hundred dollars. Yep. Yeah. And it's running fine now. Rotor, brace. Yep. What do you have it now? Yeah. Oh, Radiator. Uh, yeah, it's back here. It's running. It's in the back. Just in time for Christmas decorations. Yeah, I think about that yet. So it's <laughs> still worth the money that we paid, plus yeah. this, this added expense. Oh, yeah. It took, yeah. Us, it took us months to get that valve from the I know. I've, they I, did, they I had my tractor down there. I had a long discussion with Tom. They, they <laughs> wanted to sell us a new cylinder for $3,000. You know, the cylinder would have been more than what the whole thing was. Mm -hmm. They had a hard time getting that valve. Did you get that video from someone else? No, I ended up buying it, and I put it in myself. But he he me, got me the connections. And, and, I, and you were able to get it? Yeah, well, it's the same place. He, they got, when I called them, I think what they did is they had to order it from somewhere, and it was however long. Because it was like 47 bucks shipping, and it's only coming from, um, it's coming from down near, not even Albany Way. I said, are you kidding me? Well, that's what they charged us. We have the part here, yeah, because you ordered it from somebody else, you know. So they kind of got you. There's only one place now that carries these mm -hmm. lift parts. Mm -hmm. Person lift and tell us all by one, so they got you. Well, so just the only reason I said that is last so time I spoke with him, he was thinking of trying to find it somewhere else because wasn't able it was to. taking so long. He wasn't able to. But they finally got back to him, had it, so I called and did it. I put the valve itself in. Yeah, I knew you were going to do that. So, no, it's, it's up and going, it's running. So. Perfect. <laughs> the cost I, of the valve was compared to what for the air? Three thousand. Three thousand. The arm was like the valve was like five hundred and some bucks for just for that little safety valve. Yep. And the, uh, the cylinder itself, they wanted to replace the whole cylinder. It was mm -hmm. like three thousand dollars, and they wanted to get somebody down here to inspect it for six hundred and 
just uh, compiled. I'd like to extend it out and it wouldn't move. The whole boom arm is full of butternuts. Top to bottom. I've got to keep moving and crushing them when you're falling all over. <laughs> the, the, the squirrels filled the hole. Must be when it parked over there. The whole boom arm is full of butternuts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but it's working. That's the name of the street. Yeah. Actually, it came from Chestnut Street, not Butternut yeah. Street. <laughs> it, was it, was it was just around the corner. It was full. Still some in there. But. So, is that a bucket truck we bought a nut crusher? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the dust was everywhere. Right. Cracker. Um, cracker just in time for Christmas. Yeah, so there's, a, as far as new parts, I know there was uh, new rotors, uh, new rear brakes, both sides, calipers, radiator. Starter. Uh, starter for the generator. Mm -hmm. Went to start turning over and the starter let go. So that wasn't anticipated, that one, but uh, uh, yeah, I know it's the stuff. It was a bunch of stuff. So. And so you saw we have it running. We got some new. Christmas decorations and we can use it to put them up. I got them up by what, the 8th, is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have the bridge to work on this year, too, of these. Yeah, we got to decide how we're going to do that, too. Yeah. Bring we're going to have to bring that stuff down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, any further discussion on the warrant? Any questions, comments? Roll call, please. No. No, nobody you didn't approve the motion. Oh, we, yeah. yeah, we had a motion and a second. We had a motion, we had a motion and a second. second. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Mayor Martin. Aye. Okay, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's business as usual. Uh, <laughs> catch up. Um, playing catch up. I'm hoping uh, sometime this week we'll have the one tank full. Uh, we've got one tank over half full. Um, hoping this, and there's no ice in it. That's our concern right now. But we're hoping by the end of the week that it'll be full. Get our samples to the lab, get it back, and then we can start filling uh, wet service road tank. Um, softening right now is online. It did start last week. Um, when we fill our tanks, we'll probably bypass it because we can't put as many gallons a minute out as we want through the softening. So we'll try to get our tanks full and we'll put it back online. But uh, so the softening, you know, the softening is in line and is it is working right now. There's still some computer glitches. It, quite often, it calls me in the middle of the night trips an alarm or the computers aren't talking or whatnot. But the, 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 as of last week, the softening was already started in, the, in our system, so, which is a good thing. Um, other than a uh, few water breaks with the increased pressures, we raised our, it's a little bit of a process to fill our tanks. It takes at least three people, uh, one at the valve at the new tank, one at the valve at the old tank, and one at the water plant. And it's a, kind of a balancing act because there's such a difference in elevation and pressures. Um, as far as how we have to do it, but uh, I'm hoping this week we will uh, we'll get the tank full so we can get it, like I say, get it online. Tomorrow we're going to be doing a little bit of paving, uh, patching rather. The town's going to help us. We're supposed to be doing uh, Ashline Drive, the cutout from the water, the South Street by the intersection of Ashline, and we're going to try to do the top of Church Street also. So. Um, That'll be our, that's tomorrow's, tomorrow's plan. Um, later process of mixing some more sand and salt. We got a little bit of salt last Thursday. Um, other than that, it's pretty much just keep moving forward here, trying to, uh, try and keep things, keep things going. Um, as far as the water plant goes, just about everything is finished up down there. Uh, he did some paving, actually I had to come back and do a little bit more. Uh, Tomorrow or the next day, uh, they got to take a little, little section of it out and uh, mill it down. It was pitched, wasn't quite pitched the way we wanted it. We still have to put shoulders in the road down there with the new asphalt. But uh, other than that, we're, like I say, we're just in the process of trying to get our tanks filled. And uh, and once our tanks are filled and everything's online, then 
we'll get back on meters, the ones that still have to be done that are inside the bowl. At that time, we're going to have snow. And so, so, I had a couple of questions regarding the tanks. You, you mentioned you're worried about the water uh, being frozen. Is it because of a low level in the tank? Yeah, I'm only got the tank, one tank like half full, a little over half full. So, all these cold days right here, and we're worried about ice forming. There's no water moving in or out of it. Yeah. So, exactly. just sitting, it's cooled, and then, yeah. I mean, I got to go up. It was, it was probably really tomorrow, I got to go up to the top, open the hatch, and see. I'm hoping, you know, these. During the day when it's 40 degrees, I don't know how much it'll help, but once that water's cool in here, there's no movement, it starts forming ice, you know. So that's what they were worried about. I, I I the river line. on Saturday was there was ice skimming on here, the top there. Here too. Oh, yeah. Here too, down by the yeah. Little yeah. Bridge, so. Oh, definitely. Um, I, gotta, I gotta start getting some water, gotta get that filled up so we can start using it, cycling in and out, you know. Yeah, and if we're filling, the other question I have, if we're filling both of them with, with hard water by bypassing the softening unit, how long do you think it'll take to turn the water over? And I mean, a week or, week or so? Oh, it's going to take longer than that, probably. I bet you four months. I don't know if it'll take that long, but it's going to take a little while. Through our softening plant, we can put 250 gallons a minute. And it takes, I mean, we've got a half a million gallons we need to fill those two tanks. Yeah. And it got to be filled that. You know, a certain rate. You can't fill them over a certain rate, but I have to be able to put enough water out to keep my pressure to keep the tank full plus supply everybody at the same time. Mm -hmm. So once we super chlorinate, uh, for instance, we start the pumps, we shut the old tank off. I've got a gauge on the outside of the hydrant of the new tank. Once my pressure reaches what the tank pressure is, then we open the valve to keep it filling. But we don't because it's a one line in and one line out. It's got duck bells it can push in but it comes out the same line so somebody has to stay there. If we have a break that water could come back out of the tank and it, rather this rapidly. Is, and this is your procedure for filling. Correct. So um, it does it does push up the center and it does draw back in the outside so there is some mixing action as far as how long I don't know. I mean I don't know the answer as far as how long is when the water's turned over. I mean we, we started running our softening last week as far as softening water versus not softening water, well, but it's going to take a while. Well, how, to, to, you know, how much do we use daily? 110, 120, 140 so, thousand gallons. So that's at least or, 10 days. Then. <coughs> probably to but I mean, your tank water. never empties. True. You know, you're constantly you've got, diluting. Correct. So, so people have softeners that want to maintain I would, softness. They might want to wait another month. I would wait. At least. I would wait. Um, and I mean, some people, depending on their their liking, they may want to keep, they may want to still use their softener. And we're we're the ratio right now is about 20 percent, 80 20. We're putting um, 200 gallons of treated of uh, everything going to the green sand. 80 percent of the filtrate coming through the nano filtration, and 20 percent of the other is getting it's 200 gallons and 50 gallons getting blended back together. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember what the, the drop was in the iron and manganese, but it was incredible how much, even just through the green sand, how much less there was. Do uh, we, okay, so when it, when it comes out, the, the outgoing one of the tanks, is, is that meter? Do you test it? How, how do you know where, where your level is? Uh, what do you mean by level? The hardness level. Yeah, we test it. We can test it right there off the, off the nail filtration skid. Okay. Yeah. I got to get down there. Yeah. Actually, we've got two meters. We've got two new meters. We had to order for that because you've got to use its, its resistivity and it tells you. And pH is a big thing because so you have to have, keep a pH in a certain range. Yeah, do you have a range on on the, the harness level as well? Like, if, yeah, if it tells you as far as like the green sand. He did it on. Actually, I've got him written that down down there, but it shows you what's going in the raw water going in, and then what it is just coming out of the green sand. How much iron and manganese has actually got taken out? And it's it was unbelievable how much just from the green sand. And then the nano brings it down to its back. It's basically distilled water when it comes out of the nano. So that's why you have to blend. I think we're putting 50 gallons to 200 gallons as far as the blend back together. And then from there it gets final chlorination and then out to our tanks. Okay. So, I mean, like, to answer the question, I don't know, you know how long it will take to turn over. Um, but it's going to take, obviously, some time. You know, it's going to mix in there. And any water that's, I mean, we have to look at how many... A lot of gallons in the lines that we have. You know, we have to know exactly how many feet of pipe we have and the diameter to know how many 
I'm, I'm guessing I'll say, what? Mike, it's going to take a couple of months. I will let me yeah. turn it all over. Oh, I'm, I'm guessing through the whole system. I yeah. mean, oh, from here to Rouse's Point, down the Ridge Road, you know. Well, to the home. To the home yeah. Yeah. And it, mm -hmm. as long as we know we're to the point now as far as drilling, we should only be gaining uh, maybe five or six pounds, maybe more, maybe four pounds more, because it's an initial to get it up to that height. That's where you gain every time we go to start filling that tank. That's why once we started filling, I want to try to keep it filling because you don't want that pressure up and down. You know, every time you stop it, you get that. You're going to get some hammer. Um, you're gaining over 30 pounds right there, mm -hmm. or about 30 pounds. So that's not good. To up, down, up, down. You know. So that's what our plan a week ago was to fill the tanks and keep them going. And when we got the guys lunch on the way back, we got a water break in Church Street. I turned the corner. We got one on Pine Street. We got it all at the same time here. This one we were hoping that it was curb drain. There's a, maybe a pipe was broken in the curb and had to rain, but that wasn't the case. So this one got fixed today. But I'm sure I know. I know there's. I think there's a valve in the rail bed leaking. Um, there was one by Rite Aid. I don't know if that one's still leaking. I think they said that one had stopped. The valve was leaking, but. All we're going to do is we're going to keep filling, and as they come, just keep fixing them until we can get that tanks full. I mean, I don't really have, don't have a lot of choice yeah. as far as you know. It's going to find the weaknesses. Yeah. So, and I've got a bunch of chlorination taps that I'm going to have to probably do something with. I mean, with the hydrants that need to be pumped down, we pump them down. That way they didn't freeze. But we've got valves. If we have to shut valves, I don't know what we're going to do. We'll have to dig them in the back hole because they're under the summer that far down in the ground. You know. Can we get the extensions and charge it to the project? We can, but I don't know if we're going to get paid for them. Seems like that would be an emergency purchase. Well, they, they, they you know how it goes. Look at the hydrants. They think they're all functioning. Or, yeah. And they're backwards. Yeah. They're there, but that doesn't mean that they're, you know. Yeah. How about, um, paint tie us up. I got a question. To be able to take. Get your snow equipment ready? Is it ready to rock, rock and roll? Or? Just about. I mean, this, it's hard to do this week, with everything in this water project that's um, taking your time. By probably Wednesday this week, we should be in better shape. We're fixing the truck right now, so. The Peter Rail? Yeah. What's wrong with that? Uh, brakes and stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. The rear seal. Yeah. yeah. Rear seal? Yeah. So. Let's we got the sand. We got to put the sander in a small truck for last weekend in case. And if something happens, but probably by Wednesday we should be that, in better shape. That truck should be ready. I'm hoping. Hoping. <laughs> Just pray for no snow <laughs> for a little while. I do that all the time. That's where we are right now. We don't need the snow. That's what we're deer hunting. And we've got it. I will put it last week. Actually, we've got another back wall coming too for the probably another week before it gets here for the salt shed. And to make it. Okay. But we do have some salt and sand mix, and we just got none of the salt, so now we can start mixing again and get it get the shed filled. But oh. yeah, everything's behind. Well, no we know where the blame <laughs> lies there. So just water project. Oh yeah, I, you know, I've, yeah. I've been thinking about him for the past couple of weeks. How's he managing to get equipment ready? Water, yeah, yeah it's been. just. What, with water main breaks and trying right. to fill tank? That's not done either, is it? Every time we go to fill a tank, this, of course, it was over a week that people were here for the softening. So when they're putting water through the system for the green sand and all that, I can't fill the tanks because it's taking the water. The way it's set up is it goes, the, the filtration system calls for the water. So if you're not putting enough out, you can't fill. So it's been a back and forth for the last couple of weeks. Um, I had to wait for everything to get online there before we could keep going their tanks. So. You know, the guys are here from Minnesota and also can't really tell them, well, I'm sorry, you're going you're gonna to have to wait three more days here. You know what I mean? So it, it, it was a coordination thing. It's, it's part of it. Part of it was, uh, you know, it was just too many. You needed a plumber. You needed an electrician. You needed the people up from the softening plant. You know, everybody had to, the programmer, be here at the same time. When it comes down to the end, most, most municipalities do one thing, you know, softening or... I mean, we did pipeline, tanks, and softening, so everything yep. it was a big, a, a big thing to, to have it all come together at once. So, but we're going to make it through. There's, there's a light, you know, it's getting brighter. 
getting brighter. Do you have a, an approximate date for when you put the tanks online? So is your fault. <laughs> um, we, can, we go with, can we go with one or we got to fill them both? Well, once we get the one online, once we finish filling it and get the samples back to the lab, we'll turn it, we'll leave that tank on and then we can start filling the other one and we'll, sh we'll shut our old tank off. Okay. Um, but in the meantime, if we get a break, I've been lo putting it back to the old tank so we don't drain that new tank and keep the pressures, you know, reducing 30 pounds in those mains depending where the brakes are. But once we can get past, this, uh, this is hopefully this is the threshold of where the brakes were and hopefully a couple pounds won't make a difference, you know, to get it there. Um, but once we get them online, once we get the sample results back, we'll, those tanks will be online, um, and then we'll start filling like the West Service Road tank. And the problem is you got to climb up on top of it to get samples to bolt the door to chlorinate you know, up and down. You know, it makes it a little. The prospect's not as bad, but when you're climbing 107 feet, uh, you know. Yeah. So, you make three, four trips up there. Straight up with a five gallon pail of chlorine. Yeah, well, you're pulling jugs, you're going to pull jugs. We, you know, I took five gallons over here. And you send the skinny guy so, out. Who's that? They're all scared of heights when it comes to that. So. <laughs> Is it going to to you? Yeah. Well, and the other one, so I'll be keep Charlie, Charlie here for a couple of days. Yeah, I'm sure he'll he'll probably do that one. Maybe. Charlie Gage is a representative for Aquastar. Okay. He came to do it and we couldn't fill because the pumps, we had issues with the pumps. Uh, Those are all big terrible, right? Well pumps? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all in. That's what I thought. One. We're still waiting for samples in one. Our distribution pumps, one of them the thrust bearing wet. Um, they're supposed to be, we're going to have to change that one. One of the three already the bearing wet pump. Um, so it's going to be brought local somewhere. They're supposed to send me an email. Mm. But I'm going to have the contractors take care of it because as under warranty, we shouldn't have to pull that motor and bring it and bring it back. Some kind of warranty. Mm -hmm. So, well, well, thank you. He's been busy. There's no doubt. Okay. Any more for Mike? Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Who the correspondence, please? Correspondence from the Department of Transportation regarding chips funding. Correspondence from Champlain Fire District to town regarding hydrant fire hydrants. Um, correspondence from Clifford and Marianne Kerr regarding water bill and response. Correspondence from the Department of Housing and Urban Development regarding Casey Gregory versus the Village of Champlain. Letter to Ryan Dragoon from Codes Officer Tatro regarding renovations. JCDO monthly report for October 2017. And correspondence from Angel Sanchez and Mary Freeman regarding reimbursement of driveway repair and receiving costs due to the water project. And you'll notice on correspondence three uh, to Mr. and Mrs. Kerr, uh, our response to them about their uh, about their request. This will have to be done through the county. Assessor. Changes in residential. Mm -hmm. uh, and we will turn this this uh, we'll turn this bill over <coughs> from Mr. Sanchez, Ms. Freeman, we'll turn it over to the town here with the county, or not the county, the project. But, as I stated, there's no guarantee. Okay, new business. 2018 elections, Village of Champlain. Whereas, the next village election for offices of the Village of Champlain, New York, will be held on March 20th of 2018. Whereas the Board of Trustees of the Village of Champlain must designate by resolution and publish offices which are to be filled at each or at such election and the terms thereof, be it therefore resolved that the Board of, Ed Board of Trustees, Village of Champlain, has determined the following offices to be filled and to be voted thereupon with the terms of such offices respectfully noted as follows. Trustee, term, two years. 
trustee term two years. Be it further resolved that as required by Village Election Law number 15-140, 3A notice of village elections be given at least four months prior to election day and that the office to be voted on, voted up on, be included in the notice. This resolution shall take effect immediately. Need a motion to approve? So moved. Need a second? Second. Is there any discussion here? Mr. Up for re-election? Already, uh, it seems like the last year. <laughs> Roll call, please. Trustee Trombley? Aye. Trustee McFetrich? Aye. Trustee Trombley? Aye. <coughs> Mayor Martin? Aye. Okay. The second item we've already discussed, holiday events, December 9th. Uh, a lot of things going on that day. Full business, <coughs> office renovations. Uh, as you know, we have spent a little bit of time with Mr. Whitford. Uh, is this, is this, is this the one? Yes. With Mr. Whitford uh, from AES. Uh, you have an amendment to the professional services agreement. We ask that a asbestos survey be taken place here in this building before decisions are made on how we want to and if we want to renovate here. Uh, the estimated cost is $5,812 and the final amount will be based upon the actual number of samples tested. Uh, need a motion to approve the expenditure of this to get the process started. So moved. Have a second. We have a second, uh, both first and second floor of this building, and not the garage will be sampled for examine. Is there any discussion on this? Just that we're going to add the other yeah. part to well, it. We, I was going to go to that one, but oh, I'm sorry. Um, we'll kick this in now. We've also requested that there be a survey done about the uh, fumes that mitigate in this building, uh, especially especially in the spring, uh, and even today, if you were to walk down in that cellar, it will the fume smell will, will sicken you, probably make you a, a little dizzy. Uh, that may be in addition to this. Okay? It will be in addition yeah. to this. Mm -hmm. yeah, I say okay, will. just so everyone, it will be in addition to this, mm -hmm. and it will be a separate amendment that we'll have to act on. When he comes up, when Mr. Whitford and crew come up here and examine the building, I sent him an email kind of describing the events. There are no fuel tanks here. There are no, you know, no residue fuel issues in this building except for the tank that's on its side that needs to be what, cut in half and taken out. But I don't think that that's, I think this is seepage from years and years and years and years of spill. And even now, if you go out there and take your shovel and go out here by the street and take a shovel full of dirt, you're going to smell gasoline. Yeah. And it was very strong today when Mike was digging at the water main break. I, I think it dates back to, you know, I think it's way the, back. When, this, when they used to have gas pumps out front. Yeah, when they say it, it, there's no, no hits, take. no hits in a meter, so I mean as oh, far as other than stinks, know, yeah. there's nothing yeah. as far as flammability or for losing uh, Well, it's not the immediate that yeah. I'm re really kind of concerned about, it is the long-term exposure. Yeah. You know, after years and years and years, I mean, sometimes uh, Juanita and Mary have to have the window open and the fan drawn, mm -hmm. you know, slamming that stuff out of here, plus this door being open if it's warm enough. But the long-term effect is, is, you know, what I'm mostly concerned with. Mm, you sure. know, what happens if you sit here for 5 or 10 or 15 or 30 years and the constant exposure to this is... Mm -hmm. is it's something that we need to be very aware of and, and react to, react on. Mm -hmm. I agree. All right, so we have a motion and we have a second to approve the sum of $5,812 to get this asbestos process started. If there's no further discussion, we'll have a roll call, please. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Trustee McFetridge. Aye. Trustee Trombley. Aye. Mayor Martin. Aye. Uh, old business blowers. I have spoken to Mr. Uh, Mr. Barton and Judas. I never remember this. Fletcher, Don Fletcher. Uh, the process has begun. I haven't heard from him in the last two or three weeks. 
since uh, we approved the money last time, I called him, told him to go ahead and start the process. He said he would. So I'm expecting that I will hear from him soon. Uh, we all know that the blowers need to be replaced, and we will go as soon as we uh, get some advice from him and, and the direction that we need to travel. And I will get back to you probably in the December meeting, if not before. I would request a short executive session to bring you up to date on some litigation issues, um, just so that we can all stay in the same sandbox, so to speak. Do I have a motion? Uh, so moved. I have a second? Second. Okay. Need a motion to go out of regular session? So moved. I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Need a motion to go into, and we have one to go into executive session. So moved. Have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we'll be back in a couple minutes. Okay, entertain a motion to come out of executive session. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to go back into regular session. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, there was no action taken. It was put off until next month, December's board meeting. No other business come before the board. Motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that's what we forgot to do.